Now here we go, we got a bite now. Here we go. What is good, Greg Gang? We're here today. I don't know if you can see that or not, but we're fishing at a river. If you remember a few weeks ago where we caught the smallmouth, we actually caught a lot of minnows that we didn't need, and we actually just went ahead and put them in the pool pond. So this morning we went out and got the minnows, and now we're going to try to catch some catfish bass while basically whatever wants to eat a minnow, we're not really going to be the picky today. Here's what we're looking at, guys, okay? We're a pretty good river. There's some nice holes over there. There's a waterfall, but it's way down there. But yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's basically the game plan. Let's go. So we got about... 150 minutes left over. Last time we used 150 in like two hours, so. It's a good net. Oh, son, here we go. I gotta put those Crocs in four wheel drive for this one. Slow and steady. All right, boys, we made it. We have made it, guys. It is official. We haven't died yet. But just like last time, we are kind of in the middle of nowhere. Don't worry, I got the nine. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. Somebody messes with us, we'll send them over Niagara Falls. Kendall, dude, what's the game plan? Well, I'll tell you what the game plan. We got minners, pretty basic. If you watched the last video, you kind of already know the game plan. But we get the minners, we yeet them out there into the middle of the ocean, and we catch fish. We catch fish. Kendall, dude, what you fishing for? Well, we're fishing for bass, catfish, maybe walleye. And if we catch catfish, we're going to keep it, and we're going to try to eat it by the end of the day. All right, but yeah, let's get it going. What we got to do? Put a minner on. And chuck it out there? And hold on. All right, let's do it. We'll come in here, grab one. Try not to lose them, because we don't exactly have a ton of them. We'll slap this bad boy on. Yeet it about as far as we possibly can. About, probably about three, four miles. All right, where are we casting at? Where's the sweet spot? You see the rock that runs over there? Yeah. Please excuse my bird nests. Is my minnow on the top of the water? Yeah, it is. Mine's already dead. Nice. I think I hooked him in the brain. That's why he died. Oh, KG down. KG down. Okay, guys, so we've moved locations. Now we came to this place. We're going to call it Angel Fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second largest waterfall in the world. That is correct. Are you sure about that? Anyways, guys, we got to pull the water here. We got a really nice looking tree over there. Probably sycamore, possibly an oak. I don't think that matters, but we're going to fish a little bit. If we catch something, I'll let you know. If we don't, I probably won't let you know. Really? You already got a bite. He's already got him. Oh, I think I got a bite too. He's already caught a fish, dude. Uh, it ain't a big one, but it's a good one. It's a large mouth. Oh, is he? I just slammed a young boy into the side of the wall, but I think he'll be all right. Maybe a mild concussion, class three, but he'll make it. There's one. There we go. We got a bite now. Here we go. I think I do. Oh, no. What was he? I don't know. NBA Thick Boy is still good, so we're going to keep fishing with him. I'm using a circle hook, so I didn't try to set it too hard. I just tried to real fast. That's how you're supposed to set the hook with him. There we go. Oh, coming in flying. I think he's a little bit too little to keep though. We got one spotted bass right there. We're gonna try to do a catch and cook with it, but this one right here, unfortunately, big boy, he's just a little bit too small for us. So have a good day, brother. Oh, there's something nice. There's something really nice. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's a good bass. That's a good keeper. That's a good keeper there. Yes, yeah, sir, put him on a biscuit, son. Fish biscuit. That's a spotted bass. That's a good, good spotted bass, actually. But yeah, dude, he ate Baba, Baba Boy, my favorite minner. That's a pretty good size uh, spotted bass. They don't get huge. But yeah, we're going to put this guy on the stringer. We'll take him home. We'll eat him a little bit. My minner's dead. We'll throw this big dog out there and see if anything wants him. Something wants to eat him. It's got to be decently big. Yes, sir. That is a good one. Was that our fourth keeper? He's super fat. Anyways, guys, this is our fourth keeper. I just kind of caught him randomly right there. We're trying to catch a catfish, and we're literally doing everything we can to catch a catfish. Well, we do have three other spotted bass, so this makes our fourth. But yeah, there's plenty of them, so it's not like we're hurting the population or anything. He's just hooked up on another one. We've had a ton like that, super small, so we'll leave them here to grow. <laughs> Okay, guys, now we're down. We're going to start cooking them. I don't know if I told you. Yeah, I think I told you. I don't know. I forgot. One way or another, we are cooking the fish, and we're about to fly them up right over there at the tot spot. You'll see what I mean here in a minute. There we go. There we go. Biggins, biggins. Absolute hogs. The tot spot is the world supreme fish skinning or fleshing. I don't know what this is called. Process we're doing. Flaying. Flaying fish. All right, so what's the game plan here? We got big electric knife. Electric knife here. I go under this fin. Try to run your knife right down their spinal. Oh, yeah. Key, 
chill. This is a. Uh, that's one great piece. As fresh as you can get right here. Alrighty, boys, we are in the kitchen. I have no idea what's going on, but he does. So tell us what we're doing here. First thing, we got a whole First, stick of butter. Butter up this pan uh -huh. real good. And then we're going to wash our fish off, lay them in here. We're gonna cut some butter, put it on top of the fish. And then we got some lemons too. We're gonna put some lemon on top of the fish. And then a little bit of seasoning, stick them in the oven for about 20 minutes. Absolute chef. Ready, what do they look like? They have uh, definitely shrunk a little bit, but I think we'll make it work. McDonald's is always just a drive down the road. I'm gonna say there's a very low chance that they don't actually taste good. good the time. only bad thing is that there's just not much of it, but we didn't catch big fish. We only kept four of them. All right, moment of truth right here, spotted bass. Are they good or are they not good? They are hot. They are really, really, really hot. I can taste the butter, first thing. I get a little fishy taste. Yeah, we was told these will be better than crappie, so that's a big statement. I think it's pretty decent, honestly. I do too. I, I think we cooked them about perfect. Mm. Mmm, mmm. There's a small chance that instead of fish with a side of butter, we cook butter with a side of fish. All right, what would you rate it? I would rate it, I'm gonna go hard on them, okay? Okay. I'm gonna give it a 6.9. That's not bad, though. That's not bad. I feel like it's missing something. It is, for sure. Like, it's good, but then it just quits. I'm gonna say just a solid six. I think that's fair. The fish itself, honestly, probably not much of a taste. And I'm saying it right here, right now. I do not think spotted bass has what it takes to overtake crappie. We just brought up a valid point. We didn't fry the fish, okay? Fried fish, that's what all the grandmas are saying. Fried fish, we didn't fry it. We baked it like some vegan. We didn't even give it a true chance. As for that, I don't know, I'm still giving it a 6.9. I'm honestly about to drop it down to a 5.9. Does spotted bass have what it takes? No. Now it down. Now a lot of you guys have been asking where's the verse of the week because we've actually slowed down on it quite a bit. But if you've actually noticed, there's been a Bible verse on every single video right there at the opening title screen. But today we are going to go ahead and do one and it is Hebrews 13 8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Now the verse is exactly kind of what it means. God is constant. The world not so much. So no matter what happens on this fourth quarter of 2020, just remember, God's always the same. And he always loves you. Listen, guys, if you want to watch another Catch Cook, click right over here, or a large mouth Catch and Cook right over here. Please don't forget, guys, subscribe, and please hit the like button if you like this video. And better yet, if you want to pick up some merch from KindleGreg1.com slash shop, right here is the green short sleeve shirt. I like to use it whenever I'm hunting, and it's kind of warm outside. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you, I don't know, probably Monday. Bye. <laughs> Weighing in with four fish, weighing a total of two pounds. Us. I don't know.